Hey everybody, I'm Scott Lennox from Hooked on OC. Uh, recently we've been looking for some low impact tourism options for here in and around Ocean City. Um, basically it's environmentally conscious tourism options that you have like riding your bike on Assateague Island, walking boardwalk and things like that. We have found an absolutely outstanding low impact tourism option. We are in Berlin, Maryland with Steve Taylor with Ayers Creek Outfitters. What's happening? Hey man. How are you? Very good. Um, it, it, this, is, this has got to be one of the best um, that we've done so far because this, this is an awesome, awesome spot. Yeah, really, really you. awesome spot. If you don't mind, tell us a bit about the location, what the business is. I hear you have some packages that you have for yep, people. We do. Uh, we're here on Ayers Creek, which is on uh, Route 376, and it's not far from Route 611. We're about a half a mile from Frontier Town. Uh, most people know where that is. Yeah, we're only about 10 minutes from Ocean City. Yeah, 10 minutes from Ocean City. It's an easy drive down Route 611 from mm -hmm. Ocean City. Uh, you're here, like you said, in 10 minutes. What we do is we offer uh, tours where we take people out uh, we have two, we actually have three tours that we feature. One is a forested wetland tour where we go north on the creek uh, for about an hour and a half round trip. Uh, we talk about the habitat, the wildlife, the water quality that we have here. The other tour is uh, the salt marsh tour where we go south. That's about a two to two and a half hour trip. And again, we point out wildlife and talk about water quality and things that we see there. The waters here are very calm, uh, very little effect from tide or current. We do have some wind, you know, if the wind blows in the afternoon, for example. Yeah. But it's nothing, nothing significant, not like being out on the open bay. What sort, of, what sort of wildlife do you see on the different tours, and is the wildlife different on the different tours? It is, it is different. If we go north on the Forested Wetland Tour, we tend to see more blue herons and egrets and things like that. Uh, if we go south into the uh, salt marshes, we see glossy ibis, bald eagles. We tend to see those quite frequently, and that's a big hit. You know, people love to see bald yeah. eagles flying around. And there are a couple nests down there as well that we point out. And we see cormorant and uh, various ducks and things when we go south. So a lot of the, a lot of the wading birds are, are in the salt marshes. Very cool. Now, you, you mentioned to us um, something about a, a sunset cruise and a moonlight cruise. Yeah. Sound really, really cool. What's that yeah, about? Yeah, that is that's a very popular uh, paddle, the moonlight paddle. Uh, we do two, two options. There's the full moon paddle. Of course, whenever there's a full moon, we'll have a couple of uh, evenings where we go out. We watch sunset. We watch the moon rise. We paddle back to our facility here where we have a bonfire. And then we have uh, a cheese tray and a dessert tray from the Shark Restaurant yeah. in West Ocean City. Yeah. And then we have wines from Pemmuk Wine Cellar. Yeah. And then we have a big bonfire and we roast marshmallows and kind of have a small party when we get back after the, uh, after the moon rise. <laughs> you guys like punch out at a certain time and it keeps all going? Cause it keeps going. You know, <laughs> that as long can get as expensive people, for people yeah. to stay all night. <laughs> yeah. As long as people are having a good time, you know, we keep it going. And so it's really up to them how late they want to stay. No, that's great. That sounds like a really awesome time. Yeah. And then um, the, sun the sunset cruise is basically the same thing, yeah. but it's just not during a full moon event. Okay. Sunset, and then you get back and you're done. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think I'd probably rather go for the moon. Like the moon is a lot great. of fun. Very popular. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, what cruise are we going to be going on today? Which which tour are we taking today? Today we're doing. The, we're going north on the Forested Wetland Tour. Okay. The Forested Wetland Tour is a little bit different than the Salt Marsh Tour because the creek gets more narrow and more shallow. The forest approaches the creek, okay. and so you see a lot more terrestrial wildlife or wildlife that live in the woods. We might see white-tailed deer crossing the creek. We might see some wood ducks. We'll probably see some blue heron egret, um, various birds like that. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, what, what kind of equipment do you have? What sort of equipment, like what kayaks are we going? Do you have singles, yep. tandems, that sort of thing? Yep, we have tandem kayaks and we have single kayaks. The tandem, that's Magnum the dog. See dogs the, once in a while. Yeah, the dogs <laughs> run around here too. Uh, the tandem kayaks, of course, hold two people and they're about 13 and a half feet long. Um, if you, we recommend the tandems if you're with someone that might get tired, like a small child, for okay. example. And that way you can you have the capacity for two people, but uh, can handle uh, you, one person can handle the load if need be. Gotcha. And then we have a 12-foot uh, kayak and a 10-foot kayak. The 10-foot kayaks are a little bit more maneuverable. Uh, we tend to put lighter weight people in those, and so it's just really depend. It's preference on the on the 10 or 12 foot kayak. Great. Um, I heard you guys when we got here just a little while ago. You said you had the red hat ladies out this morning. I know that they <laughs> tend to be um, more of the retired, yeah. uh, let's say retired they're, type women. Um, yeah, they're so more. So it sounds mature. like you go anywhere from little kids all the way up to. Absolutely. The youngest. Uh, we we leave it up to the parents. You know, if the parents are comfortable with the small child in the boat, you know, we leave the age up to them. Uh, all kids have to, to wear a life preserver. It's yeah, the law. That's right. And so all and everybody that goes on the boat has a life preserver. Adults don't have to wear them, but they have to take them. 
So the kids, you know, that we leave that up to the parents as far as the age. And then the adults, it's really up to their, you know, comfort level. We have a, a launcher, it's called a Yakka launcher. And the kayak goes inside of that and it helps, it has a little handlebar that helps people get in and out of the kayak. Oh, so, so you don't have to get your feet wet. You don't have to get your feet wet. And Beautiful. it's really great for uh, the more mature people that we have, like the red hat ladies. Yeah. It's easier for them to get in and out. And it's just a great way to get in and out of the kayak. That sounds really terrific. Um, why don't you give everybody your phone number? Do you guys have a website and that sort of thing? That way we can get in contact with yep. you if anybody's interested in putting yep. this together for their trip. The website is airscreekadventures.com. And the phone number is, I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah, that's all right. We'll look it up and we'll put it down here. <laughs> phone number is 410-641 probably. Yeah. All right. We'll fill yeah. in the last four in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I guess why don't we get suited up um, and get ready for the tour. It sounds really, really awesome. Well, you've got a beautiful piece of property back here. Thank you. I can't wait to get out here. I go over this bridge almost once a week and I'm really interested to see what's up the creek. So Everyone who comes here absolutely loves it. You know, when they get out of they get off the boat and they just rave about the place. Great. Well, let's get suited up and head on out. Great. Well, I got to tell you, that really was fun. From the scenery, the wildlife, everything that you see out here, the hospitality, the folks, this really is an awesome, awesome experience. The tour was incredible. And just one more way to leave just your footprints, or in this case, paddle prints, next time you visit Ocean City.